Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical Today and bringing you Monk Monday number 94. Thank you to anybody who watches or submits gameplay. If you don't know what that is, pretty much you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it, I review it, I go through it. Your gameplay, your teammates, anything. I do Mistweaver, Windwalker, I do PvE. So, Mythic Plus uh, raids, I do PvP, of course, twos, threes, RBGs, could be world PvP, could be skirmishes. I actually don't care what MMR, any experience, nobody's going to judge you, nobody's going to make fun of you. We're just here to watch your gameplay. That's it, and hopefully you will improve. And I'm going to be honest, this is what helped me improve and get better at the game. So, hopefully this is helpful to anybody who watches. And, uh, yeah, send some gameplay in. It's in the email, and uh, let's, let's get you on here. I would appreciate it. So, today we have... I'm going to butcher this name, and I'm really sorry. We have Churma... Sh Churma Mursa? Churma Mursa? And they say, Mr. Gold, thanks for uploading all the great content. I appreciate that. Um, the Shadowlands expansion was the first ever I've done any kind of PvP. Well, welcome to the PvP community. It's It's been a pretty, I would say, relatively decent expansion so far. I tried all different healers, but nothing stood out as Mistweaver. Yeah, I mean, Mistweaver is probably the most fun. I'm having, um, I'm having a lot of fun playing around with it, and your videos have been extremely educational. Thanks to them. I've managed to climb to 2.2k. Dude, congratulations. First... First season PvPing, are you serious? It took me three seasons to get to 1500. Um, I would love to hear your feedback on my games. Keep up the great work. Kind regards. Uh, Chirma Mursa? Chirma. Chirna Mursa. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, I appreciate the kind words. Congratulations on 2200. And uh, yeah, let's take let's take a look at this gameplay. We have Mistweaver, Assassination Rogue. Uh, yeah, it is Assassination Rogue. And we are playing against... We are playing against Affliction Warlock Shadow Priest. Um, some talents. So... Their win condition is pretty much the warlock. Is, the warlock is gonna be spamming the damage most of the time. The shadow priest is the damage or the CC kind of bot. So you're gonna you're gonna get stunned into silence, and then the siphon is gonna be on your rogue, or there's gonna be a silence and you stun on the rogue some kind of way, um, unless the warlock gets a fear on you. So I would say peace weaver is great. Healing sphere, I actually I think it's okay, but it's not a game breaker in this just because. It's a lot of globals, and a lot of these times, especially with like Death Bolt or Demon Bolt, I think it's Death Bolt, like you don't have a whole lot of time to react um, to stuff like that. So, Healing Sphere is good for you, for sure. So, what I would do with Healing Sphere is I'd put a port down, and then I would put a sphere on top of my port, and then I would dispel my teammate. Have That way, there's no dots out. Um, and then Eminence, you definitely want to drop Eminence for Zen Focus T, I would say, um, just because uh, Tiger's Lusto is potentially okay. Um, I, I think the kill target is probably going to be the Affliction Warlock, but I, I think you want to drop Eminence for Zen Focus T. Don't miss... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Zen Focus T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you can hear me right now. There we go. Perfect. All right, yeah. Per these are great talents. So let's see how this game goes. I really like your UI, by the way. I really, really like it. I'm not going to lie. I might try to copy it a little bit. I really like that you have like the water and your healing spheres. You have your like defensives over here. You have your CC, right, your mobility down here, and you have, like, cooldowns. I, I I like your UI a lot. So, going in. Now, I would say, since you're playing with a rogue, that, great. Just stay behind the pillar. Don't don't go out in the open until the rogue gets a sap. It's very, very important that rogues, especially you're playing with a misweaver and against double DPS. Uh, there's a sap on the Shadow Priest. Great job choosing the Affliction Warlock as the kill target. Um full kidney shot here we're going in for a leg sweep off potentially right be careful i was about to say be careful when pushing in be very careful any any spec of priest so shadow holy disc just be careful when you're pushing in because if you push in you're giving you're basically giving them a free fear they were they were always trinket to get the fear because there are very few times in a game where they can actually get to you you know what i mean so this guy trinket fades to get to you fears you um and I think it obviously gets, gets broken by all the dots and your silent stuff. So be careful. Be careful. Um, we did revive. Do we trinket revival? Okay. Um, probably didn't have to trinket here. Let me just see. So I would say we wouldn't. Ha we didn't have to trinket here, just because there's a lot of things you. So we get stunned into silence. So when you're silenced, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things you could do while silenced. The first thing, and since you think that they're going to kill you, and it looks like they are attempting to try to kill you, the first thing is you can actually Healing Sphere yourself. So you can throw a Healing... You can't use Healing Sphere when you're kicked, but you can use it while silenced. So I would definitely try to put Healing, healing Sphere down. And then you could also use Fortifying Brew um, because you obviously think they're trying to kill you. So I think uh, Fortifying Brew is also good. You could also Paralysis something. So 
if let's say your rogue is this your rogue over here i think this is your rogue so your rogue isn't hitting anything right now so you could just paralysis something like just in cap anything um i would say maybe go for the shadow priest because the shadow priest has no trinket and it's void form so i would in cap the shadow priest but then the other thing you can do well first oh actually you actually can't you used all your chi torpedoes in the in the opener to get that leg sweep but what you could do is position try to get to this pillar don't i mean if you could roll through this orb if you can get through one of these orbs you're looking prime perfect um i would just say that it probably wasn't necessary to trinket um because i think trinket is more important especially versus double eps than than a fortifying brew um it is good that you have siphon on you i mean it's not great but i mean it's better than being on your rogue um positioning wise it's a little bit weird because our rogue our rogue is all the way over here oh well, now it's good all right never mind then you can you can tell the future never mind i was gonna say the rogue's in so we can't okay your rogue is staying in so positioning wise we have to like are we are we on the priest now okay never mind we're chilling no your rogue's right here yeah i think we're trying to oh the gate okay yeah i see now uh careful careful pushing in very very careful good in cap on the priest here to stop any off healing just be careful mind control and the warlock goes down yeah no really solid game here i would say that the only thing oh one sec sorry this song is like freaking me out oh my lord okay i would say the only thing really against priests i would don't push in unless you have a way out versus any spec of priest um they will take advantage of the opportunity and a lot of my games what I do when I go to CC a priest is I'll incaps on the priest and then I immediately roll away because if priests have the chance to get a fear on you, they will. They will trinket to get that fear because misweavers are very, very difficult. It's very difficult to CC for disc priest. So just be careful. Uh, we have disc priest outlaw rogue. This is interesting. Okay. Outlaw Rogue is, I, I'm actually surprised Outlaw Rogue isn't played more often. I, I think it's a really good spec. I watched Panzer play it, uh, Miss Weaver Outlaw. So, um, Eminence, really important. I think the most important part of this matchup is Eminence because they can kill you. Uh, grapple Weapon is great. Peace Weaver, I mean, it's as, uh, it's, it's, you can drop Peace Weaver versus this because, again, it, there's really no, no, unless it's Mind Games, but even then, Mind Games is, you're not probably not going to Peace Weaver it. I don't actually know if I think Outlaw Rogues do Outlaw Rogues have smoke bomb? I actually don't remember if they do or not. I don't think they do. So I think what you're better off playing is it could be Doa Mist. It could be Zen Focus T. It honestly probably Chrysalis. Go Chrysalis on this one uh, instead of Peace Weaver would probably be the best option. And I do want to correct myself. I just Googled it really quickly. And it looks like Outlaw Rogues do have Smoke Bomb. I don't think they use it. I think they use a lot of um, other talents. Though this will probably use Dismantle. So probably Control is King. And then, I mean, they could run Smoke Bomb. But they could run Maneuverability as well. So there's a lot of things that they could do. They might have Smoke Bomb. Peace Weaver might be good for the Smoke Bomb. But I think you're better off not playing it. I think you're better off playing the Chrysalis or Zetna or Jumbo Mist. Um, I see Song of Chiji, which is a, a fair choice, actually. I, I, I think Song of Chiji versus Disc Priest is really good. They don't have a kick. They don't really have a lot of mobility to get away from you. So it's good. Just be careful. Be very careful. Because you're playing Song of Chiji instead of Rop, you really, you can't waste, you cannot waste your, um, I really like your transmog. You cannot waste your eminence, pretty much. You, you can't waste it. Fell Steel Annihilator mount, of course. It's a it's a staple. I wish I had it. It's a really good mount. Port down, perfect statue up. Give me a statue. Beautiful. All right, we're already ahead of the game right now. Uh, we're looking for a sap here. A sap on the priest would be really nice. I mean, it doesn't matter because I would be very careful right now. Yes, be very very careful with staying on your port in the opener. This, especially when this rogue has some damage. So there is the, there's the dismantle. That's one of the PvP talents I was talking about earlier. And. I think we're doing all right so far. It looks like we're using mouse over macros for soothing mist. So there's a kidney shot again. Very, again, there it is again. Be very, very, very careful when pushing in against priests. You don't want to give you, you don't want to give them free fears. Like you want them to use their mobility to get to you. If they're night fae, you want them to use their soul shapes. If they're vent theory, you want them to use their dwarf shadows. Like don't. Don't just give them the CC for free, pretty much. You know, don't just give it to them. It uh, it is it does kind of work out here though because the rogue is kidney shot it for another two seconds and you're feared. So it's basically a three second fear. They're not gonna get much pressure off of it. Uh, but just do be careful when pushing against priests. And then I was about to say something else, but I kind of oh oh oh, very we um when your rogue doesn't have blind, 
when you're when you see a real kidney shot, try to get an in cap on the healer. Uh, in cap DRs with sap. So if you want to get the full blind sap, you can't in cap. Just keep that in mind. But after the blind, I would I would definitely um, once the, I would definitely go for in caps on the priest when you see a kidney shot on the DPS. The here's adrenaline rush. Wait, I'm sorry. One sec. Let me take a look at your talents again. We are playing grapple weapon. Okay, I thought you weren't. Yeah, grapple weapon. I don't think you need to life cocoon here. Don't, you know, I, I wouldn't say because they have no range kicks, right? They, there's no range kicks on it. I mean, technically they could maybe range, they could grapple hook to you and then, you know, kick you. But I don't think there's a chance that they do that. The, the rogue is kidney shot or adrenaline rush. What I would do here, don't overreact, just disarm them. Yeah, I would just disarm the, the, the rogue here, especially during kidney shot and adrenaline rush, you get like a little two for one there. If they trinket, boom. I mean, there's your there's your win condition, right? Um, if they don't, they just sit the full disarm and can't do much. So maybe instead of life cocoon, maybe throw out disarm. Also, be very careful right now. You are you are out of range of your port. So if they do swap to you, especially with the adrenaline rush up, and I can't tell if this guy is mind game is uh Benthir. I feel like he might be. Uh, just be careful. Just be careful being out of range of your port. There's the disarm, perfect disarm. A little bit late, a, just a tiny bit late, but overall, not bad. Don't pour it though. I know it's very tempting to pour it. Don't do it. Good. Okay, good, good, okay, good. All right, he's not committing to you, so that's nice. And you have the 25 second cooldown on eminence, which is even better. Um, and see, here's a kidney shot. Go for an in cap here. Did he death it? No, good, perfect. There's a blind on you. We trinket the blind for a leg sweep into a song of chi i do like this this is pretty aggressive oh wait no i don't like it because here's the problem now like the setup is off now because your rogue so your rogue already kidney shotted like here here's your rogue's kidney shot right now now right now so there's the kidney shot and it's already like three there's already two seconds left when we go for an in cap so the kidney shots the go is over yeah, yeah the go is over um, unless your rogue goes for like vanish cheap shots, which I don't think, especially when you're assassination, I don't think you're going to go for it. Maybe if he's playing the crit legendary, it might be worth it. I don't think it's worth it now. Um, so we trinket the blind, which is fair. It's fine. Um, but there was no kidney shot by the rogue yet. I mean, obviously, eventually you're you're probably going to and we do it for a song of chiji but here's the problem with this now the song of chiji now listen to me i i love song of chiji the problem is that your rogue is now fully kidney shotted and your the rogue use evasion with that last um actually i don't even know why he used evasion on that after the last kidney shot we'll take it but just the goes over pretty much um that now would have been a good time to see a um a trinket because you see the kidney shot if this rogue saw it he would see that you just trinketed and you have no port and then full kidney shot you and potentially dead. Um, but he doesn't see it, which is good. And yeah, the song of Chi like it's great, but not right now because it's your go. And then you need to be very careful with Song of Chi as well, because you're playing with an assassination rogue. You if you song of Chi or incap something, it gets rid of their bleeds and their poisons. So keep that in mind. A lot of rogues don't even want you to incap or song. <laughs> just keep that in mind i got i've gotten yelled at by quite a few rogues in in my day for in capping and songing uh so just remember that that's dismantle and faint is gone from your rogue so he could take a little bit of damage dismantle on the other rogue i wonder if dismantle is even worth it for your rogue to play careful here good disarm before the fear in cap oh we had in cap right here we had in cap right here good, good great kidney shot Trinket from the rogue as well. We have in cap right here. We can press it. No, okay. We, never mind. We can't. We, we're on the GCD. Great disarm here. I'm, I'm a fan of this disarm. Okay, so he, the rogue, the the priest is vent here. Okay, so he does have mind games. We don't have trinket. Great revival there. Give me a in cap. Perfect. And we have Yulon going, which is great. Do we manatee with it? Gouge on you, which is which is fine. Fleshcraft, great. Dome, give me a little touch of death. Easy. No. Um, that's great. I can see that your rogue is waiting the whole time for the rogue to trinket. Um, just to get a kidney shot. Um, Vendetta, which is very patient. Very, very awesome. Um, 
the dome is just is nothing versus yeah overall a really a really good game here um i would just say make sure don't give don't don't give a priest any free fears like don't don't give him anything free you know make him work for it um great disarms don't overcommit the life cocoon to your to your like if you don't have to don't use it um, i know it's easy to just press life cocoon but we don't have a lot of cooldowns we don't you know i mean you play miss weaver we have three we have like two cooldowns <clears throat> so just keep that in mind overall though solid game um didn't even have to use blind that game either which is great bm hunter resto druid oh this i feel like this is gonna be a tough one i feel like hunters are really really scary uh especially versus rogues i mean you, basically your, your setup seems to be very clean because you don't have a whole lot of uptime you, you don't have a whole lot of uptime versus bm hunters you have kidney every kidney shot is uh, that's 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 it so um maybe potentially song of chiji versus if you wanted to um you could definitely play song of chiji peace weaver is okay but I would eminence is good, grapple weapon is good because the hunter can't kick while grapple weapon. I would I would probably go chrysalis here instead of peace weaver. You know, um, I feel like chrysalis minute and a half cooldown. Uh, Beast your wrath is like a super short cooldown. So that would just be me. Peace weaver is fine for traps and, and cyclones. Tiger's lust is Tiger's lust is okay. But you're really just gonna have your goes every every kidney shot. Unless they wanna kill you, which it seems like they do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you're gonna get silenced here, so oh yeah, be careful. Uh good fortifying brew. Put a mystic touch up here. Oh, that's another thing I wanna note. See, I would play song I would have played Song of Chiji versus, but something I do wanna note <clears throat> um that I don't think I noted before. Assassination I think melee is normally their top damage. So you want to make sure you're keeping Mystic Touch. I see that you have the Mystic Touch here, but just make sure you keep it the whole time, especially every kidney shot. Like if you can't, it's fine, but just make sure every kidney shot you try to. We go for an incapper. We wait too long, which is fine. Oh, we trinket. Okay, we tr okay, we trinket the, the Intimidation Stun, which is fine. It stops their go. We might get trapped off the stun. We actually don't get trapped, which is amazing. Fleshcraft here. Oh, we already used trap. Okay, that's, I mean, that's even better. Uh, Druid has no trinket. You have no trinket. Your rogue and hunter have trinket. That's a full kidney shot on the hunter into an incapacitating or a cyclone on you. We have no outs. This is beast your wrath. So, it's a little bit scary. Uh, we go for the blind on who? The hunter? Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, yeah. You definitely hate to see that. You for sure. This is, I feel like who, I think it was Waz or Pikaru that said that, like, if you blind defensively, you already lose the game. I feel like one of them said that. Um, that's evasion from the rogue. I would have just evasioned instead of blind. I mean, you're gonna get the hunter. Well, unless no, you don't have vendetta either. If you if your rogue had vendetta and you blinded just to try to get the trinket, maybe. But right now, I mean, the druid had no trinket. The druid has no trinket, so I think it, it would have been a blind is probably better on the druid and just use evasion for this go. Um, hunter does have kick. Hunter does have kick. Get, get, it's fine though. We have enveloping mist. We have bone dust brew here. Getting a bunch of stacks of cloud of focus. We're doing really good right now. And we're just looking next kidney shot. Next kidney shot. We're looking for. Okay, nice. Eating the trap. All right, we take that. Did the, did the hunter just whiff the trap? That's funny. The first one. This is Beast Wrath. What we're I, I'm assuming what we're trying to do now is just stall. Um, I think what we want to do. Neither of them have trinket. Your rogue has trinket. Here's an in cap. Great. We want a kidney shot on the ro on the hunter right now see yeah definitely oh 50 seconds all right oh yeah we're waiting for vendetta all right maybe oh is your rogue playing short vendetta double kidney shot or double kidney shot double uh leg sweep there and your rogue's just trying to get a restealth and that's just just how it is with rogue sometimes that's just what it be um but yeah make sure to save your in cap and leg sweep for when oh your rogue actually didn't get a restealth that's kind of weird um dr stun yeah, because of the leg sweep, but I mean, five, four, three, just had to wait three more seconds. That's very unfortunate. That's a very unfortunate kidney shot for sure. It seems like um, things aren't going our way this game for sure. Uh, disarm on the, on the hunter here, which is nice. Nice port on the trap, which is perfect. Rop. Easy. Oh, the backwards roll, style on him. Avoiding the worst time. I think we still got Cyclone. Yeah, be careful, so, you know. 
Um, I don't think we went far enough away. No, we didn't. Yeah, that's a full cycling right there. Uh, we have Trinket in five, but we do have our Vendetta really soon, as along with our on use. That's a full kidney shot. We need something on the Druid, though. Got a lot of healing. We're looking good. We get kicked. It's fine. Teammates already healed. Spinning Crane kick to get the Mystic Touch up. Life Cocoon gets used. Turtle gets you. Oh, wow. We get Turtle from that Vendetta, which is great. See, this is why I think Song of Chiji is really good versus like BM Hunters because they only have one kick and they don't have a lot of interrupts. So I, I think that that's why it's so good. Uh, Bisha Wrath gets used. Feign Death. So, you know, trying to do our best here. Uh, trap should be coming up very soon. Be careful. Did he just whiff that trap again? Oh my lord, this this hunter, this I don't think this hunter has gotten like one trap. That's all right. That's a full kidney shot. Really good blind on the druid as well. So this is this is exactly what we're talking about here. Feign death. I hate Feign death so much. Maybe getting a sap off. Probably not actually. Rop him. No, no sap off. So you can go for an in cap off the blind. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. You can get a leg sweep if you got it. You don't have it, but you know, just in case, you get kicked here, which is a little bit scary. Just a little bit. So normally what I would do versus uh, hunters is I save <clears throat> I save my disarm for when I need to heal. It's basically Zen Focus T, except it also doubles as like stopping damage that the hunter does. Sorry, my dog, that dog is right here. Um, so like in a situation like this, like, oh, your teammate's dying. Um, I would disarm the hunter here, especially since the hunter has no trinket and it's beast rat. So you're stopping a lot of their damage and they can't kick you. So maybe try saving disarm for when you need to. It's basically, it's a Zen focus T versus hunters, essentially. Uh, that's how I like to think about it. Uh, Yulon is healing though. Maybe she's okay. Bash on your rogue. We have a lot of healing. Druid probably going for a cyclone. Maybe go for an incap on it. Nice ranging on that. Root into incapacitating Roar into a Cyclone. We have Step Kick by the Rogue, which is really, really good. And now your Rogue is trying to cut. Kind of, see, this is you can't. Unfortunately, like this is this is the downside of being a Mistweaver playing with a Rogue is we can't offer we don't offer Rogues anything to like help get them results. Like you can't AOE fear, you know, every thirty seconds. You you can't give them freedoms to get away. And this is the downside of playing with the Mistweaver. Unfortunately, is. You need to be aggressive all the time. This kiting right here, this would work with probably any other healer. Oh, good leg sweep, but a DR stuns. So that's another thing of playing with a misweaver is a DR's kidney shot. Um, is the kiting behind the pillar, it does not work for misweaver because we have to heal through all that damage. We don't have any damage reductions. Good feint from your rogue to get around the pillar. I gotta do something to these pets though. You can maybe taunt them, rob them would also work, but yeah, we're a little scared right now. Honestly, this hunter is kind of throwing the game right now. Just being, oh. I'm pretty sure you can just kill this hunter. I'm pretty sure, no trinket. He just disengaged in. If you get maybe an in-cap leg sweep on the druid with the kidney shot on the hunter. Hunter is so overextended right now. Ursula's vortex on you guys. Dis, do we disarm? No, okay. In-cap on the hunter. I'm. It was, maybe it was probably a fat finger. I, it was probably definitely a fat finger on that, which I've done many times, but probably want to in-cap the druid. We trinket. Don't stand still. After you, yes, you do not. A few things. One, pretty sure we're out of range of our port. Oh wait, we're not. Where's our port? Oh, there it is, right there. I've learned this. I've learned this a lot because I've I've lost because of it. If you trinket the stun against a hunter, don't stand still, because trust me, I've done it a lot. Because all they're gonna do is free trap. If you get rooted. If you get slowed, like if they tar trap you, if you get uh, rooted by the druid, anything, they're going to get the trap. You also have port. So we do have port, but I, I think we're on the GCD. Um, so just be careful there. Um, we do have cloak, vanish coming up, cyclone coming out from the druid. That's a full one. Um, we have no, we have, we have vanish, which would suck, but I mean, you're probably not going to get the sap off the blind anyway. There's a cyclone again, cocoon, evasion. Okay. I wish, I wonder if we're just going to Juan this guy. Um, there's on use, there's Vendetta. Oh my god. That guy just died from like... Oh my god, that was like a 38k crit or something. Holy cow. That was... Very surprising. <laughs> yeah, that's my exact reaction. Holy cow. Assassin's Rogues are insane. Um, yeah, overall this game went... Honestly, really wasn't going your way a whole lot of time. It's really hard. Versus, I, I knew this was going to be a hard matchup for, because BM Hunters are good already. And 
then you're playing with assassination road which could be a little bit of a struggle but overall you guys did it pretty well um the setups just make sure you have your in caps for when your rogue sorry my my <laughs> dog wants to look outside make sure you have your in caps when you when you see a kidney shot on on the kill target um maybe save it for if the you know after your rogue blinds because it does dr with sap so just keep that in mind overall though not a bad game uh, always stay in range of your port um great i think healing wise you did fantastic and it looked good like you use manatees well your mana is always fine i would just say work on the setups save your disarms for when you have to he for when you have to heal pretty much um because it doesn't really stop a whole lot of damage because if basically it stops a hunter from being able to use kill shot and cobra shot but the hunter can just switch to kill commands um but yeah no overall really solid games really 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 um really enjoyed watching these games um you'll be higher than 2.2 .2 for sure and my critiques pretty much this one right here just don't give priests any free fears um or if you're gonna push in for a fear at least have some ability to get out of there like don't use both your rolls to get the leg sweep use one roll get close enough to use one roll leg sweep and then like roll away or pour it pretty much that's the only one for this one positioning wise too stay close to your rogue because or like stay close to your pillar um this one overall was fine just don't over commit cooldowns which was the life cocoon here because they can potentially swap out to you and kill you um but this one right here just disarm the rogue you probably get the trinket probably get the trinket earlier and then you can kill him sooner but yeah overall and then also make sure when the, this one right here the song of chiji i love song of chiji it's literally my favorite talent except for wing of peace um but just know that the go was over pretty much and the song of chiji just the rogue is already evasioned and i think your rogue gets kidney shotted up as well so i mean it's a good song but it would have been better earlier in the go um i don't know if you i doubt you're using voice but just when you see kidney shot just instantly in cap as, as fast as you can um so that game honestly wasn't that bad at all uh, bm hunter restitute yeah this one i'm surprised it went your way i really am th th this was this is a tough matchup and you're not playing, you know, I mean, you're playing a good comp, but I mean, you're playing a Mistweaver, Astro Rogue versus probably the S tier comp and twos right now. But yeah, great, great stuff coming out here. I would, I think that just uh, staying in range of your port, which I think you did. The blind here, I can't believe that actually worked out really well, but it did, which is fantastic. Um, disarms from your Rogue. You do have disarms from both of you, so it does kind of work out. And just be on the lookout when your rogue disarms the hunter, because then you could free cast. Remember that. And then just the only, really the only big mistake was one that I used to make a lot, and that is standing still after you trinket. Because if you get rooted or slowed, you're gonna get trapped. Um, just and you could also port, so just keep that in mind. You also have revival. I think you're playing peace weaver, so if you feel like they're going to, I mean, obviously this guy's gonna try to trap you, right? I think this guy was 0 for three for or one for four. Um, just keep, just remember that you could peace weaver the trap. So you could revival here, get the heal, avoid the trap, and you're chilling. Uh, but that is pretty much it. Great games. Really enjoy the games. If you have any more gameplay, please send them my way. And that is pretty much it. Hopefully this was helpful for you, anybody watching. And that's it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.